So it's not about saying, oh, he says unemployed. Let me just go and code. Let me go and research. You guys are very clever. Let's go and do a Google and check what other sites are available. There's Mimic Hits and then from No, that's what we're looking for. We could have done that without you, by the way. And if you're going to sit here for the whole night trying to do that, you are wasting your time. Why are you spending so much time just for something that's been done before? My name is Tsekha Mamsiga. I am uh, helping run the hackathon and the makeathon today. Um, the groups have to develop a solution um, to the following uh, uh, problem statement that was provided by Moses Kotan. Um, they want a database where young people will be able to register, um, unemployed people, young, young unemployed people will be able to register and put their information and on the other side the department or whoever should be able to log in and see unemployed young people even private companies and see young people who are unemployed and who are looking for jobs so it must have something like a cv in there and other things that young innovators will think about and 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 and, and, and provide solutions to so we have about um eight groups that side or on the hackathon side and they are busy with that on the makeathon side what we are trying to do is we are trying to do robotics. So we are building. It's robotics, it's IoT, and we are pushing using Arduino. So here what we are having is young people are trying, like me, uh, to develop solutions to the problem which we see at N2, N3 economic corridor, where you find that um, there is trucks that are burning, there's a lot of chaos there, there is strikes that constantly are happening and we're trying to find solution to that problem to say how can we make sure that the N2 and then N3 are a bit more stable and traffic is flowing and goods are flowing so that our economy does not uh, get hurt. Um, so our project basically is on protection of the cargo through the truck looting and also a truck being burnt. So one project is for us to create a fire detector and uh, a smoke detector that will be sending a system that will be sending a signal to the uh, to the company controller and also to the fire department so that they can attend to the scene, making sure that uh, the cargo is protected and also the, the trucks. Yeah. And also, it, 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 it will be having more of the smart uh, um, um, truck to also protect uh, on the accidents that are happening. It will be having the smart braking system uh, so that when um, the truck is getting closer to the, uh, to the object in front, and it can be automatically braking itself before the accident happens. And also, it, in the back, it will be having an alert to protect other road users. So when someone is following so close, it will be alerting uh, that person uh, behind that you are now uh, so close and you need to keep uh, a distance between us so that we're trying to avoid and also protect the other users in the road. Hello, my name is Leah Williams. Basically, what we are doing is we are trying to come up with a sensory system to improve the security communication of trucks and the cargo system. Okay, so what uh, our plan is is to um, we have a GPS system in place that's to track the trucks, you know, so that we always know where it's going to and if something happens, and then we have a, a flame sensor so if there's any fire it'll detect it and then it'll send an alarm back and we also have a ultrasonic sensor and we have a um, tilt shift sensor my name is Bongani Masela 
I am the founder of Boots Africa. My partner is Jabulani Swatboy. Today we are at the Moses Kotane uh, Institute Hackathon, hosted at the UT University. We are here to pitch our platform, our solution, which is Pluto Africa, a digital networking platform dedicated to the acceleration of business growth and the development of African youth SMEs. I'm very excited to be here. I came all the way from Pretoria to pitch this solution and, and to hack. Um, the proper statement that we're given today was, was to solve uh, youth unemployment today. And uh, it's, it's a very high uh, problem that we're facing right now in the country. And um, I believe that we're going to win this competition today. Morning. My name is Furupero and I'm part of the Frenzy Hack team. So today we are at the Hackathon Makeathon competition and I'd like to introduce my team which is Lundipile and Tutugani. The problem statement we have is that we want to like we, we want to bridge the gap between the, uh, the unemployment graduate so by that in our solution we are creating a web application that will be able to connect um, the ungraduate people uh, to the companies and furthermore our web application is going to have a database that will collect all the number of people that are unemployed. We are a programmer basically. It's very, very, very easy to, to learn this, to be an ethical hacker. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hack a system and also do privilege escalation. Don't try to say you come out the facility for people to go and look for jobs. I don't think you've got something of that nature. I think for me, you just need to come back and say, if ever somebody comes here from MKI, from any economic development, say, you know what, we've got a problem. We don't know how many people are unemployed. I've heard that when you're saying, talking by the way. We've got even have a graph to tell us how these people are unemployed and what skills do they have. I've heard that problem again. Okay? We don't even know which company is looking for who. I've heard that when you're talking. So this is how deep you should be going. So it's not about saying, Oh, he says unemployed. Let me just go and code. Let me go and research. You guys are very clever. Let's go and do a Google and check what other sites are available. Let's mimic it and then we we'll do it. No, that's what we're looking for. We could have done that without you, by the way. And if you're going to sit here for the whole night trying to do that, you are wasting your time. Why are you spending so much time just for something that's been done before? Go back and draw on, the, on, the, on, your, on, on your paper that is clean and say, what are we solving for? Who is Temba? What is Temba's problem today? Is Temba qualified or not qualified? Has he gone to school? Is Temba in a Teguini? Or is it somewhere in Bumbulu? In Maluguazi? Come up with a Temba and build Temba's profile. Come up with Temba and who the Temba is. Because remember, once a solution we have built, I will ask you a question, is it solving Temba's problems? But if you don't know Temba's problems, how are you going to solve the problems? Yeah, um, so the, the, the conference itself and the expo is a brainchild of um, former minister um, was, you know, at the Department of Communications as well as Digital Technologies at the time, um, Stella Ndabeni um, Abrahams. Um, and we started it um, last year in Richard's Bay, at the Richard's Bay Techno Hub, um, where essentially, the, you know, the, the big mission as well as the purpose um, was to say, can we provide a platform for young innovators um, to look at local industrial, you know, challenges and, and then use robotics as well as coding um, in order to provide solutions with the hope of perhaps, you know, unlocking economic opportunities through the commercialization, of course, um, of the said innovations. Um, and then it has grown, you know, much bigger this year, of course, by doubling the numbers um, as well as the number of participants. Um, this year, for example, we had the hackathon as well as the makeathon, and the hackathon essentially was looking at um, developing a software solution um, focusing on unemployment within the province of KwaZulu Natal, and the makeathon was focusing on um, on transport and trans transport as well as logistics. To say again, looking at the challenges um, on our on our road networks, the trucks and all of the accidents and the loss of lives, as well as the economy. What can innovators do? When you're getting closer. 
we are a research institute. However, research inform innovation and innovation inform entrepreneurship. So with that in mind, that collaboration, we collaborate with your likes of Microsoft, we collaborate with DUT as, as we are here with DUT. DUT are our partners and we've got Go Digital, which is also our partners that we collaborate with. Duty is one of the leading institutions in South Africa and it's only obvious that we run these types of programs and it, it, it gives us credibility as an institution and it allows us to interact with both the public service and also the private service. You gave up? Yeah, yeah gave up. And then, and then so who was the motiva motivational speaker within the group? We're like, <laughs> guys, let's keep going. You, you can do this. <laughs> Yeah. No, beautiful. Great story. Uh, reflections, Team Six. Uh, I think um, it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. Specifically, and also to have this more innovative uh, solutions to to the pro to the problems. Um, that we are facing as a country. So even for myself, I don't do much of coding, mm -hmm. but um, being uh, involved in, in such um, innovative uh, platform to come up with solutions. So it's not about going for a big qualification to mm -hmm. come up with solutions. So that is a part of experience and um, a chance that we appreciate. Truck starts burning, or it's already crashed with the other truck starts burning. That's what happens. So, this system at a 20 meter distance. If you're at a 20 meter distance and then it discovers an obstacle, then it will give you a first alert that there is an obstacle ahead. And if you come closer, then it gives you now a last um, alert which. Activate now the system to automatically uh, break. To actually, um, judge according to does the product actually have failed? You know, is it something that can actually you know um, be built from a prototype? Can it actually be taken to the market? Is it innovative enough? You know, um, your presentation skills. Do you guys work as a team? And also, like, um, how innovative is the solution? So uh, what was more critical than anything else, it was innovation, which is like your unique selling point. Because if I were to give you money as in like now, obviously I would want to invest in something that I'll know that it will actually um, generate more revenues. And it's something that's actually going to work. And also what we were actually looking at, it was the demonstration, you know, to actually tell us like how does it actually work? Because it's also crucial, you can't build something and then it's not even functional and people invest more money in it and then at the end of the day it tends to be a waste. So these were some of the things that we're actually looking at. And as a young person, it is my duty to ask, what is it that we're doing to ensure that we remove the economic disparities that continue to face particularly young black people? So it was very important for us to also come up with this initiative so that we don't just sit back and see the country plunge deeper into economic disparities, also as a result of the historic atrocities. Um, you are working with Arduino system. Um, so what it gives you is it gives you an online platform where you can have an IoT kind of a system and from there on you choose how you disperse information. Um, so that is how it will work um, rather than uh, them developing because we had that restriction of time. So we had to present a minimal viable product uh, to um, do that. So if I wanted on my phone as an example, there's a, there's a, there's a gateway. Mm. When we were approached by the Youth ICT Council to partner with them uh, to make this event a success, we have had a number of meetings with them where we were doing planning together uh, and we had to assist them in a manner in which they have requested us. We have pledged financial assistance for a number of things uh, to make sure that this event becomes a success. I must say that I'm very excited, I'm very happy about the success of this, uh, uh, this expo. The Department of Communications and Digital Technologies 
We are working very hard on making sure that we bridge the digital divide.